What's up, Wilton? My name is Alex Kay, and this is Warrior Sports League on Good Morning, Wilton. In this week's episode, the second one of the spring season, we are featuring the boys' varsity tennis team and the varsity softball team on the girls' side. We cannot wait to feature these two sports. In this week's episode, let's get right into it. You can see their games right now. It was senior night for boys tennis this past Thursday, and Wilton was honoring nine members of the varsity team. They took on the West Hill Vikings. We'll see here was an amazing celebration this past Thursday. Great to be there at the courts. We're going to start in the singles match with Warrior senior Owen Dyer, and you can see this long point that he won after a backhand drop shot and the spike you'll see coming up. He really returns this shot well from his opponent. Got it, the backhand uh, drop shot and the spike there. Here's Warrior Senior Jackson Carbonier winning a point in his match, displaying excellent placement on the ball. And now a couple of points from Akil Falavaja Joe Sula's match, where he shows his reactions and problem solving ability on the court, something the Warriors emphasize. But at the end of the day, an amazing one of tennis. The final match was that of Owen Dyer. Going to a 10-point tiebreaker, Dyer again showed off his ability to make great drop shots, using the width of the court to his advantage and picking up the win in this one in that 10-point tiebreaker. Senior night was one to remember as Wilton won 5-2 over West Hill, a very unified team. I am joined by Owen Dyer, senior of the Wilton boys varsity tennis team. Owen, how did it feel getting the win today? Uh, you know, we lost them twice last year, so coming back today coming back today and winning uh, for the first time in a while, it felt good against West Hill, especially after uh, our, our reactions and like how it went last year, it, it felt good. And what does senior night and tennis mean to you? Uh, so senior night's like, it's about all the seniors coming out on the last, on their last, uh, last uh, year of playing tennis. And it like, it feels good playing, playing as a senior, knowing that you're like leading off the team Hoping to hoping to do good in FCX, hoping to win states, hoping to have a good season. It was an amazing day for Wilton Boys Varsity Tennis at the courts this past Thursday, senior night, and it was really a special day. Let's see how the varsity girls softball team did this past week in their game. They took on Staples this past week, and Wilton pitcher Sadie Cliver got off to a great start, striking out multiple batters in the early stages of the game. However, Staples started getting good contact like this off of her pitches around the third inning, but could only get one run across the board, making the score 1-0 for most of the game. It was a pitcher's duel for most of it, with spectacular plays made by the fielders of both teams. But in the top of the seventh inning, Staples got key hits like this double to center left field, and this set up a two RBI double to right field this next uh, play, which extended the lead to 3-0 to zero for the Lady Wreckers. Wilton had to turn it around in the bottom of the final inning, and they did. Their bats started connecting, and sophomore catcher Annie McMahon had a massive two-run home run hit to center field to make the score 3-2. to two. The resilience of this team was quite impressive after going into the bottom of the seventh inning, down 3-0. to See them celebrating here after the big home run. But ultimately, Wilton flew out to end the game, and their late run in the seventh ended in a 3-2 loss to Staples at home. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Warrior Sports League on Good Morning Wilton. As always, my name is Alex K. Please come back next week for even more sports news and updates. Warrior Sports League on Good Morning Wilton. Thank you for watching. Thank you.